getting. Can you imagine a world without high school football? Well, I was going to agree that it has become an important part of millions of people's lives. Well, this world could be a reality in the near future. Some people are pushing for high school football to be banned. Today I'll be talking about why we should keep high school football, what can be done to keep it, what things will be like if we do keep it, and what you personally can do to keep it. Many believe that high school football should be banned. The Chicago Tribune says, high school football is simply too dangerous for the human brain. Allison Danisco says, from 2003 to 2012, 78 high school players suffered brain injuries from which they did not fully recover. In this video, you will see a football player not tackling properly and suffering a head and neck injury. Here's why we should keep high school football. It is a great way for high school students to keep in shape. It teaches them important character traits such as leadership, courage, and perseverance. High school football games raise money for schools through their concessions and through admission. 1.3 million players, according to the Chicago Tribune, play high school football. Almost Because of this, almost everybody knows high school football players, and they know that it's a very important game to them. As you can see, high school football is a very important game to many people's lives. Now I'll tell you how it can be saved. I think that we should raise awareness of how to tackle properly and what the effects of concussions are, what the symptoms are of them. We should tell coaches to teach it properly. In the NFL, they have done similar changes and it has reduced rates of concussions by 35%. If this plan works, high school football can stay, for a part, stay an important part of millions of Americans' lives. Now, this plan may not work. There could still possibly be concussions. There will still be concussions, and it may not influence it at all. And many could say that it would just be safer to stop high school football altogether. But it could work, and it could lead to fewer concussions, and you could someday see your kids play the game that you love. If we stop high school football, it takes away a um, very positive outlook, outlet for kids who may have problems and use high school football to deal with them. Future generations won't be able to experience this important game. So now you want to save high school football. What do you do? Well, I'll tell you. We can raise awareness personally by telling our friends that may play football how to hit properly and to know what the symptoms of concussions are. We should encourage coaches to teach the proper hitting techniques and to take players out if they think they may have concussions. If you're a player, you should learn how to hit properly and what to do if you have a concussion. So you know, now you know that high school football could be in its twilight hours. You also know that it is possible to save football for the coming generations. So we should raise awareness for head injuries in football. And if you're a player, you should know how to hit properly. If action is taken, high school football can stay alive and keep being a great experience for high school boys. If action is not taken, high school football can no longer be something that exists within a few years. I think that we should keep it. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay. Wait, Daniel, we're going to make you do some questions. Sorry. <laughs> All right. Those of you who have questions, go ahead and okay. find them. You had a concussion <laughs> Caleb. <laughs> yes, I have. I had a concussion last season. One quarter of a point to Caleb. <laughs> Would you say that you're somewhat biased because you played high school football and you've had a concussion? Yes, I would. <laughs> <laughs> Why would people that don't play football or don't like football want to keep it around? You can see, if you have friends that play, you can see that it's an important game to them. You can see that's something that they like to do. 
And if it's a party, then we should let them keep it. Fair. Well, might you say to parents who say that they don't want their kids to play football because they think it's dangerous? I think you should give your kids the opportunity to play if you want them to. And then if they don't like it or if you still decide that it's too much of a risk, you can tell them not playing anymore. Um, do you feel that injuries, and especially head injuries, are only because of not tackling properly? No, uh, I do not. It, there is some things out of your control, just like any other sport, because football is not the only sport where you get concussions. For example, my concussion wasn't because of tackling it properly. It was just because of accidents. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. How did you learn how to properly hit? I was taught by my coaches, so... They are doing what I think they should do. Great. If your concussion uh, ended up being a lot more serious, do you think your view on football would change? Like if you got a concussion and maybe you had like severe brain da damage. But not well, like too severe that you couldn't think, but like, like more serious brain damage that affected you more like chronic. <laughs> like would your view change? Um no, because I don't think you can get that bad of a concussion through some freak accident like that. And if I knew that it was because I was tackling it properly, I don't know if that was my fault, and I should have just done things properly. Okay, oh, um, take one more. <clears throat> Is high school football mandatory for success in the future, like if you were to want to play professionally? No, but it would be a lot harder, because if you'd have no experience in the game, just like anything else, the more pricey you have, the better. Thank you very much. Let's give them a round of applause. Thank you very much. Thank you.